obviously in your first two games so far this season, I mean, you guys have come out and, and fallen behind in the first period. I mean, just why do you think the, the slow starts? Um, I don't have an answer for that. It's, it's a tough one. Um, but we got to get out a little better from this time on. Like, we're working to come out a little harder. It's been tough right now just coming out and starting off a little slow, working our way into the game. We want to come out on top from the beginning. So, so I mean, you obviously don't want to fall behind, but I um, mean, both games you came out and were able to come back from, from being behind. Just, I mean, what does that say about this team? Oh, we got tremendous character in this team. Um, it's some great opponents that we've been playing against so far. And just the matter of coming back from a deficit that quickly for our team, it's it's been amazing. And I hope we keep this train rolling. Just what was it like, I mean, at like the Potsdam game when you guys were down 2-0, I mean, just kind of on the bench in the locker room, sort of what's being said or what's the attitude when you're in a game like that? Um, everybody's helping out each other, pepping each other on, telling each other to come out like just have one good shift. And we try to build it from one little stepping stone and build on top of that. Coach has kind of talked about having leadership, especially in a game like that, sort of from the top all the way down. I mean, what does that mean? What does that mean each guy kind of has to do? Well, we have, we have our team model. The team model is leading the leader leaders. And um, we know everybody has leadership on this team. It's just a matter of coming out and showing up uh, every minute of the game. Okay, so uh, this week, Friday, you start with Buffalo State. Just what do you expect to see from Buffalo State? Uh, Buffalo is a really good team. Uh, we have some really tough games against them the past couple of years. And, we expect one of the best games here. And I mean, besides, you know, getting off to a good start, is there anything else you guys sort of are focusing on this week or what to do on Friday? Um, we're really going to try to create a little bit of traffic in front of the net, get some pucks in there. We know it's going to be tough. They're really good defensively, so getting pucks through, get some traffic on that goal is really going to be key for our team. So I know uh, you were pretty happy last week with the president's decision to not merge the D3 championship with the Frozen Four. Um, were you surprised that they made that call or did you did you think that there was a good chance that they would make that? I had rumors that the presidents were, were, weren't too happy about the proposal. Uh, but you never know what will pass. Uh, I think the Division Three championships can stand alone. We've had a lot of great championships over the years. Not at the Division One site. Um, probably wasn't a bad idea that they want to try it. I guess if they wanted to try it. But there was too few ramifications to trying it. Uh, with the length of this season and last season, not even close to being the same. So, uh, I'm happy it went. Uh, now we just got to find a, a good place in, in two, two years to have that frozen foreign division. Yeah, and I mean, there were, there was obviously some support for it because the championship committee, you know, passed it originally. Just, I mean, what do you think was sort of the argument for it? The well, there was a lot of support from the coaches at the at the get go. They didn't realize, they didn't think it through a lot, you know, because there was a lot of ramifications that came forth after the fact and if you ask a lot of the coaches after the fact are they still in favor they a lot of them are